<laughs> Hello everybody. Oh, got a little logo down there from a non-sponsor. <laughs> Get rid of that. Um, let's just say hello to all the people in the chat. I've got Mr. Chris Jupiter waiting in the green room, ready to go live and help me build a pedal board. When I say help me, he's going to do most of the pedal building. In fact, all of the pedal board building. Um, uh -huh. We, yeah, yeah. I can hear him. He can hear me, but you can't hear him or see him just yet. He's eating what I think might be a Snickers. No, falafel. Falafel. Mm. Oh my goodness, Chris is on the falafel already. Okay. Um, hello to Valeria. Hello to Mark T. Hello, Chris Pop. Hello, Serang. Hello to Michael. Hello, Artie Smudge, who's back on the Artie Smudge username again. Uh, hello to Tone Electronics. Hello. Uh, then we've got what else? We've got Af France 101. We've got a question already. Well then, um, Buzzle, hi, hello, dude. Um, I suppose. I mean, we should go and get Chris in straight away if Chris is up for that. Let me just let me just check. Uh, hello, Chris. Hey. Uh, just checking if you're ready to go live, sir. Um, ready. What's the falafel situation? Uh, eaten. Eaten. Okay. Well, he's just walked away from the desk, if I can see correctly. So that means he's not ready. I'm, I need to grab my tools. He's got, he's got to grab his tools. So I'm still with you. We've got a question from A. France 101. Um, is it a terrible idea to install an underboard power conditioner so you clean your power and protect your pedals. I guess we'll lead with that question once we've introduced Chris. So Jupes, as I okay. call him, is ready to go. And here he is. Hello. Oh, hey, hello hey. hey. Hey, everybody. Um, hey, dude, How's it Chris? going? Yeah, oh, I'm great. I'm um, just, just finished work. And yeah, going to a jazz concert later. Um, one of my best friends is performing there. I don't know why the the program I'm using thinks that there's there's three of us. So I'm just going to get rid of you for a second. What what's going on there? It's just me. Ah, it's because you're in um you're in that that mode. There we go. Gotcha. 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 So uh, I've been on holiday, Chris. So it's weird to come back and do this because I'm a bit out of practice. Hey. Feels weird calling you Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. Yes. Hey. No. Andy. Um, so is that Barlow? Yeah. Hello, Barlow. Hello. Hello, Internet. <laughs> right. The viewership okay. has got to go up because we've now got an animal on the, on the, uh, on the screen. I also um, don't have pen. Uh oh. What? Awkward silence. <laughs> yeah. You, you dropped out for a second there. Um, so yeah, uh, Chris, you are here because firstly, to announce that we're going to 42 Gear Street 3, and I will have an official announcement video very soon. But you and I will be meeting next week. Mm -hmm. um, also, that we're got a, we've got a special pedal board that we are taking or you're taking because it's with you right now. And you're going to build yeah. it in this live stream. Pedal train supported uh, us with yeah. that cool pedal train junior with a bag and everything completely also Carl Martin jumped in with a power supply great awesome and then we've got a Super bunch of awesome pedals time. which are, are quite special so we're going to take a look through the pedals this evening as you attach them to that pedal train pedal board Yes. Uh, and my phone's ringing, so I, I can't possibly answer that. I don't know who it is either. Okay. Um, Chris, we had a question uh, before we start about a power conditioner. Are you up for answering a question? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, power conditioning is very important. Okay, there. Can you see that question? And what, what's your thoughts on it? Is it a terrible idea yeah. to install an underboard power conditioner to clean the power and protect your pedals? What do you think? Um, power conditioning is never a terrible idea, but um, if it's practical, if the board size is big enough, 
enough and it fits and it come off while you're gigging, why not? But a power conditioner would be way better on the multi power supply for your amp as well, maybe. Mm -hmm. So you get that covered. So your amp is also not in a ground loop and everything like that. There we uh, go. If you go with a power conditioner live, use your amp with it. Okay. Would and you recommend any certain power well. conditioners to use one? Yes, but I don't know the name. The one that a, everyone has. The Furman, isn't it? Furman 101 or something like this? Yeah, Furman. Yeah, Furman. yeah, the Furman. Not the, they have two cheap ones and you use the second cheap one. Yes. The first one is just like a daisy chain with LEDs and the second one has own trafos built in. So it is uh, not together in one ground loop. Okay, yeah, the Furman from Poo Ninja and from Sarang. Um, Krainer is here also. He's going to be joining us at 42 Gear Street next week. So I guess we should talk a little bit Yay. about why this pedal board exists. Is that is that okay if we do that before we get into it? Sure, and I also um, Velcro the board while we do that. So Good idea. So we save a bit of time. Okay. So the board exists because there's going to be lots of brands at um i'm going to take chris's mic down a little bit because that velcro is very rippy rip oh a little bit should i on. should i put should i put the phone on the mount so sure yeah go for it so we can see, see we can see the board yeah cool so what's happened everybody okay. is that the chris and i contacted um a bunch of smaller pedal builders to bring them all together on one board as the 42 Gear Street 3 board. If you don't know what 42 Gear Street is, then where have you been sleeping? It's the event that's happening next week at Henning Pauli as an HP 42, his place in Germany, in Weilberg. And uh, Chris and I are going. There's also many other brands that you can see by following the hashtag. Uh, we see you, Chris. Hello. Uh, somebody remind cool. me what the hashtag is, and I'll, and I'll put it on screen because it's easier if you type it and then stick it in the comments. Um, yeah, we're going to get together. It's kind of like a bunch of YouTubers getting together and making videos about gear, hence, and it's in the street, hence Gear Street. Um, but there's going to be other YouTubers there. There's going to be Glenn Fricker. There's going to be um, Craner, as we've said. Thank you. Oh, almost Valeria. There we go. Sarang, thank you very much. That is the, the, there's going to be Glenn Fricker, Paul Davids, Krena, um, uh, some guy called Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum. Uh, try to, try, yeah. Ugh. Um, but apologies. I'll try and make up for that, that level. Uh, <laughs> I realized I didn't want to miss anybody out, but now I've realized in starting this list, I'm missing everybody. So hang on. Let me see if I can just get the, there we go. Who is in this list? Can I look at that list without sharing everybody's contact details? John <laughs> Brown, Adam Steele, um, loads of people, including Henning, of course. We should probably mention that Henning's going to be there. Yeah, but Henning's just walking around. Henning's walking around being Henning. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else can we do? We can talk about the reason the board exists. Also, hello. Amanda. Freaking hell. The first step I did was putting the wrong side of Velcro on it. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, but, um, sorry, uh, Mikhail, I didn't know if I was allowed to share that. Is that public information? If it is, you're welcome to type it in to the chat, and I will put it on screen. I'll also visit the website. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to share that information publicly. But anyway, yeah, Chris is um, now successfully adding the hook loop love. Mm -hmm. Okay. The answer is no. I can't share the information to the to the pedal train board. Oh, I could, couldn't I? Hang on. Now, McKeel knows me. He knows that I'm not very good at keeping information away <laughs> from mm -hmm. being on screen. I got it. I got it. I got it. Right, here we go. 
Um, YouTubers, there's a list. Okay, I'm reading out the list. We've got Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios. We've got Andy Ferris, that's me. Glenn Fricker, Henning Pauly, Jamie Humphreys, John Brown, Kafir, Krena, Christian Kohler, Lee Fuge, Max Solo, Mike Milton, Paul Davis, Perfecto de Castro, uh, Phil Vanison, Richard Morgan, Ryan Burke, Tom James, and Trey Xavier. Um, they will be at the live event next week, so make sure you're tuning in for all that um, so that we can fill your week. Oh, yeah, you see it in my glasses. Fill your week full of, of, full of gear. Um, then this board exists. I can finally get down to this. It exists because uh, I believe that in the U.S. of A., there's a really healthy community of small to medium builders and even large builders, and that seems to be quite easy to connect over there. It doesn't seem to be the case so much in Europe. Would you agree, Chris? Yeah, but not because we don't want to connect. It's no. not um, the no. Europe. Europe is as big as America itself, uh, USA itself. And Europe is like how many states? Uh, and they all speak a complete different language. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's one of the reasons, yeah, communication is difficult. Uh, maybe that helps with not seeing stuff in my glasses. I've bought new glasses, but this is a cheap temporary pair. Um, oh. So yeah, this board exists so we can share smaller pedal brands with you, such as Stuart Tate from Tate Effects. Yay. Um, and also, who else? We've got Xander, we've got yeah, Xander Circuitry, we've got, he was here at the beginning, Rick. Where is he? Hmm? Uh, Rick from, there we go. Turn Electronics. And anybody else? Any of the builders? We'll find out what happens oh. in the show. Yeah. Frost Giant Electronics and Ground FX. Um, FFX Frank Fleckenstein, a very Thanks. good friend of mine. Fass Inc. It's uh, now in um, um, two months earlier. He was the first Zimp. Okay, I, his I, name. I'm a little bit nervous with you with that knife, Chris. I'm. Yeah, I know what I do. It, it, Don't worry. Oh man, that's. But um, it has to be. If I build a board and the internet will see it, it has to be clean. Absolutely, I you agree. It just, I the last thing I want is. Uh, do you want to see my pedal board, my personal one? Yeah, sure. Let's start with Chris's personal pedal board. Chris's okay. personal pedal board. Chris's personal pedal board. This is my working space. Hang on, wait, 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 before you do, I think we've got a theme tune for you, Chris. Here you go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, you are now on my desk. And my pedal board is this one. Okay, what we got on there, mate? We've got a, a silver machine. Yeah, silver machine, but it's sparkle and it runs on four times as much volts. And <laughs> um, the new catastrophe. Yeah. The sludge fest dominata will bring this to the event. And uh, one of the first families, a stream on a stream on Deco, um, a DD3 that I just use for noise between songs, a um, Peterson strobe tuner, and a buffer. What's the mod on the DD3? Um, it's just feedback on Max, like nice. bridging the pot. So nice. if you can, if you if you tune, you take the first string and then press it here and, and then you can tune your guitar without the annoying silence right thanks yes. the annoying yeah. silence <laughs> yeah you know life silence is not good oh, that's a nice, looking not good. Board. nice looking board yeah so if you can see yes. the pedals just beyond Chris's board there, they're the ones that are going to go on the board from the builders. There are links to every builder in the description of this video. So if you are interested in looking at any of these boards, uh, pedals, sorry, um, there's a sum of them. So 
Is it sticking? Hmm? Is, it, is it safe? Yeah. I just, before you start making a new board, you first service all your pedals. Is something loose? Is something broke? Repair it. Make it tight. Because after, afterwards, you will regret it because it's with cables and it's tight. And, eh. ah. and then in the, in the practice room, you think about, ah, oh, yeah, that jack was loose. Mm. So that's the, that's exactly the right size for that board. I know. You're a genius. It, I ordered it because I was measuring things. I had time a whole week to think about how I do this. Okay. So yes. now that you've so, measured it out, can we go over every pedal individually before you truly stick it to the board? Yes. Great. Um, in what order? I don't mind. We have. Any order you want. Okay, we start with the first one. And while we talk about the pedal, I stick the Velcro side on it. This pedal already has Velcro on it because Andy sent it to me. That's me. That's him. And it's a big muff variant. A very good one with um, the tone filter muff thing is uh, done. It's out. And we have a three band EQ with clipping stages with a pre gain. So most people prefer to push a big muff so it don't lose uh, any sound in the mix. It has a built in preamp stage uh, that I don't know what it's doing to be honest and yeah fast volume and you have uh, two selectable clipping stages right and every stage every uh, every position of the knobbies sounds just awesome also are there cat hairs on it andy yeah sorry about that <laughs> i'm um... very very allergic to cats are just... you Oh yeah, totally. I, like I promise, I didn't know that and try to get you to have a, a problem on a live show. Uh, Sarang, that's in the chat, he has one of those. He bought one um, in the premiere when I did the the video review of that pedal. I absolutely love that pedal. Um, and yeah, so yeah. they're from it's from Tone Electronics, <laughs> and Tone Electronics Rick is in the chat right now. Um, Nuno says that it's a very good muff esque pedal and he loves it. And Sarang concurs. Hard to get a bad sound from it. That sounds like a good challenge. Absolutely. Okay. If you if you um, select your cables, I do it this way. Well. You put all your cable lenses and put them together so you know how many of which length do you have? So okay. if you search now for a longer one than the shortest one, then uh, you will know where it is. And you don't have to search. OK. Before you start plugging things in, can we go over each pedal? Yeah. Surprise. This is the first imp. Surprise, yeah. Um, it's an open distortion. And obviously a very big one, not just in size, also in sound. And also the man who's building these is a very, very, very uh, new and very talented person that I wish the best for his complete career because everything he's doing, he's making the right decisions. What's his name? Uh, Justus Gersh. Don't okay, mind if, if, if I speak it too German. He Justus, is in the Justus, live chat. He's just, he's just done a super chat. So we've just earned five bucks from him. Thanks, Justus. He says, cool. the surprise is a dual op amp pedal based on a Marshall Shredmaster. Yes, but three knob and very high gain and boost. The surprise is there's not a muff in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I wish I kind of wish I hadn't read that because I would have been very surprised in my video. So now I have to act surprised when I turn it on when I make a video at Gear Street. Andy, I have to clean my hands because of the cat hairs because they're itching. Of course. Uh, one second. 
No, carry on. We'll, we'll just look at the board there. Have we got any questions for Chris while Chris is away um, cleaning cat hair off his hands? I'm getting I'm getting all kinds of messages all over social media. Uh, none of them relevant to this live stream, of course. Oh, there's one. Uh, Xander Circuitry has just shared something on, on Instagram. And someone else is wondering about the wedding I'm playing on Saturday. Okay. Sarang would like okay. to know what power supply will be on there. Sarang, you just need to wait just a little bit. Hang around and we shall show you which power supply you're going to get. Yeah. Also, hi, I'm back again. Just oh, hi, to Chris. provide an allergic shock. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, I put the power cables with the pedals I'm plugging in because I know the power supply will be like here. So I need, uh, so I know that I uh, take the longest cable now. Okay. And put it already under the board so I have it a bit easier. Okay. Later. Don't don't do the third pedal yet because we haven't spoken about it. Relax. Yeah, no. Chill oh, out. No, no. Smooth. Justus, okay. it's very affordable. That's a surprise. Okay, Justus, how much does the surprise cost? Let us know. Let us know, and I'll put it on screen um, before we move on to the next pedal, because uh, I'm intrigued, because I have a Shredmaster, and I dig it. I love it. Um, is the Shredmaster the one that Johnny Greenwood used in uh, in Radiohead? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As I, I said, that. I'm back from holiday, and I... I'm completely lost all all knowledge and you know things. I had a relaxing time. You into a Radiohead? I am. I was mm. one of those people that hated Radiohead at first because they were depressing and boring and sad, and then I realized how wrong I was. Oh, we had the same conversation about the Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, I totally wasn't into the Pumpkins either, and then uh, mainly his voice. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I but now voice. I like it. Uh, yeah, uh, Valeria. My brain wires are completely, completely wrong. Uh, yes, it's the Radiohead pedal. Stuart Tate. Radiohead were never depressing or sad. I did say that I was mm. wrong, Stuart. And yeah, I, uh, I think. It, it, it's not like Radiohead makes easy listening music for happy people. No. But no. It's not radio friend or many much of it is not radio friendly in a sense that it's, yeah, it could ruin your day. But uh, if you have an open mind, you're fine. Yes. So Justus, how much does this surprise cost? Because I want to I want to check out that um, that next pedal from FFX. FFX. I want to know how much this um, this pedal is. Well, I could do it myself, actually. I mean, I, I've got the link to his his website. I could just go there, couldn't I? You could. I could. Hang on, I'll do that. Uh, he's American, and I don't know which clock time it is. Maybe he's just woke up. Okay, maybe he's grabbing a cup of coffee and adding six to twelve sugars. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! The surprise is it comes with a free coffee. Right, here we go. Um, surprise, surprise. What is the name of Eustace's company? I've forgotten. Uh, Fast Imp. F O Z Z E M P. Okay, I'm all over it. I am all over it. Here we go. Right, check this out. Uh, yeah. I followed him on Facebook. He made uh, some cell phone demo videos in, uh, in groups, like the typical Facebook groups, and then he just decided to make an to make an fast pedal himself. And then he decided, hey, I can do that too. Nice. <laughs> and then I, I, he started right away with good ideas, and not just, hey, yeah, I'm building clones. They are way cheaper than others, but they look exactly the same as Analog Man. And now I'm uh. no. He started just with an own design and told everyone that this uh, design idea it's based on, but I changed this, this, and that. Oh, there and it that's is. A cool. That's a cool move. I like his website very much. Yeah, 
as I told, he does everything right from the start. And if you don't know him, you are an idiot. <laughs> a smelly idiot. Yeah. Okay. So it's one hundred and ten dollars. That is affordable. Yeah, um, Stuart Tate, like... you got it right. Well done. And oh, Eustace is back. Uh, thank you for the super chat again, Eustace. Um, very kind of you. 110 US dollars, free US shipping, $32 international, 18% off with the code IMP for IMP. Okay, well... Um, so $140 if I order it now in Germany. Yeah, plus plus 18% off, which is... Texas, I would about, use for import, basically, but... It's like 120 euros. euros. It's cheap. Certainly it's not cheaper expensive. than buying a, a Shredmaster. No, 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 it's not expensive. It's not cheap. It's not expensive. No, absolutely not. Okay, well, um, we didn't go to the Tone Electronics website, so I feel bad for that. Let's just have a quick look at that. Uh, and also, we should mention that this pedal comes in a wooden box. There. That oh, I, I think his daughter painted. Hang on, cool there we go, that? full screen now. Yeah, um, uh, Rick is very, uh, it's very much a family business. Uh, there it is. It's a nice box. I, I felt bad when I took it out of the box and then had to put the box back on the shelf. Nice card, small it's manual. Nice. Let's have a look at the website. There we go. There's the website. So the Animalizer, which is the name of the pedal, is currently the only pedal available um, from TX Pedals. But I I would assume that that will change at some point soon. Um, there it is. You can buy it from there. Um, I wholly recommend that you do because it rocks. Yes. Yes. Um, there's a reverb shop that you can buy it directly from PayPal. Um, and which is which is cool if you're into big maths and you see uh, this one should be the best, but I don't have 600 euros for a raw item on reverb. You can just get this and trust me, you will get any big math sound and way more with this pedal. I agree. It has replaced. Um, the op amp big muff from ehx on my board that was my favorite well not my favorite necessarily but certainly the most useful uh big muff sound that i had for yeah. my rig and if i say it's replaced into... it but you've got it right there mm -hmm. you're touching it right now get your hands off my pedal yeah sorry um, also if you want the tone sucking mid thing a big muff does you can just dime them uh, here, scroll, uh, roll the mids back, and then you have it. Cool. All right, then, Chris, let's move mm. on to the next pedal that you have in your hand. Mm. What's that? Hello, I am the FFX pedal. Uh, all you can boost. And <laughs> Frank Fleckenstein built this pedal. Who is Frank Fleckenstein, you ask? Frank Fleckenstein was. Um, uh, what is called practicant uh, in English? Uh, work experience guy. Work experience guy for like three weeks. Oh, my camera is mirrored. And um, yeah, in our shop. So I basically teached him to build pedals. And after that, he sent me this. No the way. The first one I have. I have the first one of that. Because I've been seeing that all over social media. I think the graphics are brilliant. I think the whole look of the pedal, it's very eye-catching in the fact that it's so simple, but it's yeah. beautiful. My um, has all black knobs, by the way, because I don't like colors. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, that's, that's very I'm racist, not... but never mind. Hey. <laughs> Will you demo Hello? the pedal board on this stream once it's been completed? Yes, I yes. can do. I'll do it. I'll I'll send my guitar signal to Chris somehow. Okay. So let's take a look at the Frank Fleckenstein. Um, okay, sorry, Michiel, trainee or intern? 
It's not. That's wrong. It's the work experience person. Trainee intern. That's far too correct. FFX pedals, which is lots of fun to say. FFX pedals. It's uh, Frank Fleckenstein FX. Frank Fleckenstein. Uh, hang on. That should be FFFX. Frank Fleckenstein Frank, Frank FX. FX. Frank FX or Fleckenstein FX. I, hear, I would have called that FFFX because that's even more fun to say. Oh, there's another one. So real. But yeah, there's the all you can boost. We didn't talk about the functions. No, well, let's do it now. All you can boost is a version, a uh, vision of a versatile Swiss Army knife style boost pedal. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got highs, we got mids, we got bass, we've got a high pass filter, B1 and B2. What's B1 and B2, Chris? Um, depending on your amp situation, if you run a clean amp, B2 is a master and B1 is a gain. And uh, if you run it more in a dirty amp, it's like boost in a boost. Cool. Okay, so boost one and boost two. It's not just a passive uh, master volume. It's like a second boost that you can uh, put down. You know, Sweet. The back. Mm -hmm. and also, there is a high pass filter, and the EQ is very powerful. I, I love that with the Plexi style amp. Yeah. Yes. So much that I um, was very angry that I can't just rip it apart and steal the cinematics. <laughs> but there's some of your there's some Jupiter FX DNA in there, surely, because you were you were teaching him. So kinda, and that's making me very very proud. Oh mate, hmm. big daddy, big daddy proud. Big daddy let's, proud. Let's find out how much it is. Oh, it's on reverb. Hang on, let's go to the reverb shop. Hundred fifty nine, I guess. Uh, one ninety nine. Euros. Yeah. I like the orange one. I haven't didn't see that it came in orange. That's cool. Yes. I, mean, I like it. I, I love the originals. Own. That that's that's purely beautiful. I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I I'm like now. I like the bubbly font. The sort of seventies bubbly font. Yeah. Is it you should 70s? make one some purple. Yeah, I, uh, I would dig a, a sparkly version as well. Just white, ah. but sparkle, and then the black over top. Mm. Yes. I'm looking forward to hearing it, looking forward to playing it at Gear Street. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chat. Put that away there. Um, Ba, 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 ba. Okay, Sarang has put in the links in the chat. Sarang, you're an absolute master, and thank you also for moderating. Um, <laughs> if you're looking at this on the screen, it says uh, Studio Camille Super Chat. Thank you very much, Mikhail. He who holds the chips is he who is right. That's um, that's rather mysterious, mystic, but basically. I, cor I correct myself. Mikhail, you're correct. It's internal trainee. I take it back what I said. Uh, Shade Hope has just bought the Thunder 99 pedal amp from Harley Benton, and it works great. It's on my board, and I use it for practice and a monitor on stage. The giant wall wart is under my board, added a kilo, but it's great. Yeah. Hmm. It is a shame that it has a wall wart, but if otherwise it would be inside the pedal. It's got to get power from somewhere, and yeah. I, I really dig that that um that Harley Benton power amp thing. Never played it. To be it's honest. it's a very useful useful tool, you know, stick it on your board and it's small and powerful and sounds good. It's like 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 a headphone amp. It I think it can also be a headphone amp, but no, it just it's a power amp. Like the Magnum 44 from EHX. Ah, uh, then you plug it straight into the cab. Correct, yeah. So you'd have a preamp oh. and a selection of pedals. Uh, yeah. and then okay. Straight into a cab. I like sure, that. Sure, if you I, I prefer that. Well, it's just, it's a useful hmm. thing to have in case your amp blows up, that's for sure. Hmm. And the price makes it a no-brainer, in my opinion. Uh, Pooh Ninja has the Thunder 99 and the 44 Magnum. Who? Which is the best one, in your opinion, or are they two? Are they two different? In case the other one blows too. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, both. <laughs> Just to be safe. <laughs> Stuart Tate went down the power amp solid state stuff and ended up with a Vox and a Marshall and a 4x12. Yeah, I've, I've been looking and eyeing your collection of amps tonight. You've got a lovely little collection going on there. Um, so what have we got up next? I believe it is... What's after the all you can boost, Chris? Wait a sec. He's just cutting. Those are some really good scissors. Look at those scissors. Yeah. Also, these are our pizza... Scissors in the shop. <laughs> yeah. Pizza scissors. Yeah, because when you put make it with a knife, you make the pizza. Yeah. Um, the next one will be Antares. Uh huh. From Mr. Tate, who is currently in the yeah. chat. Yeah. Um, I'll find the link to to Stuart's website. There it is. And, um, and let uh, me guess, it's um blend between our Super Drive and a Blues Breaker, but it has a clean boost, right? Very close, very close. Um, Stuart, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a blend between an SD1 and a Tube Screamer. Tube Screamer, okay. Uh, um, and... Then you've got the clean Hello. boost. Oh, dun, HP42 dun, dun. is here. Hello, oh, Mr. Nine. HP42. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Henning is on holiday right now. So that's the Antares. It is one of the my most favorite pedals I own. And it's often replaced. I mean, it, it's just my go-to low drive, bluesy kind of pedal that also does more than low drive. But it's it, it's it's really hard to say anything apart from it's simply a fantastic pedal um because it isn't and Stuart will back me up on this and um it's not exciting like the animalizer but it but it is exciting in the fact that it's dependable and sounds beautiful so it's exciting in the way that it just does a great job i'm feeling sick when you're doing that <laughs> Oh, there we go, Chris. Hang on. It's a, it's a tube screamer with an asymmetrical clipping and an SD1 output with a parallel clean bend, I think that should say. Um, let's have a look at, at Stuart's website. Hang on. Uh, and also heading to his home. There we go. Tate FX. Boutique boxes to boost your board. Love a bit of alliteration, me. Um, he's got the Tonepedia plugin on there, so you can actually go on the website and hear it. I wonder if we can do that. Can I? If mm -hmm. I press play on here, can you hear it? I can hear it. So if you can hear it, that means that the the viewers can also see it. Cool. Um. Here we go, so I can... So that's totally clean, that's, that's with the clean all the way to the left. I like mine about there, Chris. So I've got the gain at about, I would have it between halfway and a quarter, uh, and mm -hmm. then the tone about about halfway, depending on the taste, and then clean blend also um, about a quarter-ish. And um, um, that's a, Clean that's a really amp nice, or dirty amp? Uh, that's on a clean amp. Hmm. Um, so the, the Tonepedia have a Vox or the, what's that, Hot Rod Deluxe? Um, on a dirty amp, I just like to boost it. Um, but it's a really nice, if you have a clean amp and you want something just to give it a little bit of bite, a little bit of crunch, that's how I like it. Different settings on, on a dirty amp, of course. Um, what, what does the Strat do?
Nice. Okay, well, that is the uh, Antares. We've also got, Stuart's got a load of great pedals. So the Raise the Dead Fuzz is a one knob fuzz that is beautiful. And again, very, very useful. Um, and he's got some others that, uh, oh, there's one that I won't talk about because he doesn't do it anymore, but I've got it. Uh, uh, right, whoops. Right, here we go. Let's go back here. How's it coming along, Mr. Jupiter? Um, very cool. The top, the button row is almost finished, but uh, in placement, of course. In place, And yes. very important, um, very important thing is most people stack or align their pedals to the button rows. Right. And, and that's stupid because you have to make it here even because of the cable situation. And if you don't do that, your cables will break earlier than if you, no, if you do it like this, that you line them all up on the bottom, your cables will have more stress because they have different lengths and winkle. Yeah, 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 no. Then the cables are like, like, uh, like this and that and the mirror camera so like this or that and so on. And to do them all in one row, they live way longer. You have just changed my life. That's amazing. Chris Jupiter, yeah. everybody. Hang on, hang on, mate. Hang on. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> you've you've earned it. You've earned it. My heart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> right. Okay. I like what Stuart says. What? He lines it to the bottom and uses better cables. <laughs> yeah, but the the better cables will also break because it's just in connection. It doesn't uh, have to do with materials. It's just stressing the material more. Better cables will last longer, of course, but why won't you break your stuff on purpose? That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Das ist wahr. Das ist wahr. <laughs> Sucks ist Wahrheit. Um, okay. <laughs> so the bottom row. Now, I have to ask you a question, Chris. Are they in the order in which they'll be plugged in? So are we yeah. going into the bottom row? So first into the Animalizer, then the Surprise, then the All You Can Boost, then the Antares? Yes. Okay, cool. Exactly. And because of the, the, yeah, I thought about I use the side jacks, but this is an effects loop. I can use the top jacks. So yeah, the noise gate will be there, but only because it doesn't fit otherwise. It doesn't okay. make sense. If I put it here, maybe, no. Wait a sec. Halt it ein. Halt no, it ein. doesn't fit. I'm waiting. Halt oh. it ein. No. Oh, man. Yeah. So, but, um, Henning's asking what's the order, lowest in the highest gain. So we're going into the, the Animalizer Fuzz first. Um, yeah. Do you want to tell people why? Um, no, but I can say to Henning, it doesn't matter because we don't have them all together on. What? We don't. The 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 lining of the clipping stages is just important when you put them all together on on. You know, right. then it's well, important that's... where where the placement is. Well, if you I, don't I use them, them all, all together, on. I'm turning them all on now just to see what happens. Of course. And but I guarantee you want... that Ryan Ryan will do the same thing because you know one brain and all that. We. We want to have the highest headroom gain at last. Right. Okay. Henning has an interesting point, finally. But the all you can boost into <laughs> any pedal would be interesting. That is true. Yeah. Sure, but it doesn't fit on the board otherwise. <laughs> We'd need like six all you can boosts. And a really I big tried pedal board. three. I tried three, to be honest, and it was very great. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm learning, and it's it's strangely calming watching you do this. I feel very calm watching you work, and me Thank just you. sitting here doing nothing. It's great. The next pedal will be yes, DEA audio, and this is a noise gate. 
Okay. Hello, I'm a nice I've guy. not heard of DEA before. Can you fill us in on DEA, please? Yeah, can you open the website, please? Because he does a lot of awesome stuff. I also can. with programming. Yes, also I'm with doing programming. It right now. I'm programming and what? If you programming what? Uh, like if you put uh, press both buttons down, it uh, changes the threshold. Oh. Threshold the uh, channel situation. You know all that. What basically a Strymon pedal would do for 500 euros but okay, he's programming well, it's, it's called all the golem. that stuff golem as in the golem golem sorry the golem the golem as in my precious was that yeah. me no that's golem that's something completely different <laughs> Go golem so what's golem like I, I th yeah uh, a giant made out of earth Ah. Do you know from Batman the the enemy that Clayface? Clayface, yeah. That's a golem. See, now I understand the graphic. The graphic didn't make yeah. any sense. I thought it was kind of Lord of the Rings kind of thing, but it's No, it's it's like a golem is is uh, ah. a, a, a a giant but more on the nature side of things, half right. animal thing. Living in the mountains, protector of the earth, like that stuff. That's a golem. Right. Thanks. Oi right. means oi means golem, and I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of us is wrong. One of us is definitely wrong, and I think it's me. Um, okay. So it's a two-channel noise gate, and yeah, one smart yeah, then... channel, one studio channel. Yeah, you have a studio channel, should be this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can dial on the decay, the hold, the threshold, and then you can make your gen tones and all that da -da 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 stuff. Yeah. And then you can switch channels and you can play a long sustained mode blues solo <laughs> afterwards. Okay, so like to do that. which one would you put in? Because it's you can use two cable or four cable. Which one would you put in the effects loop? Is that the smart one? No, you're asking questions. Yeah, you can. There is a four cable method, of course. Um, there was a graphic on the side for all the options he you can use with the pedal, but okay. I don't know them all now. To be honest. Well, I only know because I'm looking at the website, as is everybody else. Cool. Um, LED switching between channels. That looks like, on paper, or I should say in, in pixels, it, um, it looks like a really good noise gate. A very it well is. thought out, noise, a very useful, very um, utilitarian noise gate so not just an nothing wrong with an ns1 nothing wrong or anything else um but that looks like something that's actually more useful mm, i can tell you that i hate noise gates i like my noise and i like my feedback and i like my <laughs> after playing big muffs and yeah. all that but this yeah. one is like not giving you the feeling of having a noise gate you know got it so very touch, touch sensitive. You can ring out notes and have sustain and um, feedback, but it doesn't switch into the unwanted part of noise. Okay. You know? Yeah, uh, it's one of That's the reasons cool. I, I, I dare say I don't like using compressors sometimes. Yeah, right. For the same reason, I feel it steals away some of the, the things that I'm trying to do with the guitar. But that being said, when I put a fuzz pedal on, I don't really need a compressor. Mm -hmm. But if I'm doing something else, I, I don't generally use compressors. Look at that lineup. Hang on, I'll, I'll go back on the main screen. Wait a minute. There we go, looking good. The button row is finished. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. There's some serious Lord of the Rings chat going on in the chat. <laughs> um, 
Are we are we also live on your channel, Chris? I forgot to say. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't, I didn't, anyone, I, like, I don't know. Can anyone pop over to Chris's I, YouTube channel? Um, to YouTube be to effect honest, channel? to be honest, I just finished working. I didn't uh, had the time to check everything twice or third times, as I normally would do. Just quick eating, and then I was in a live chat with you. Yeah, I um I finished a rehearsal for the wedding, and then I grabbed a handful of crispy M and M's. Oh, sorry, half and a hen. handful. I, a half a handful of crispy M and M's because I'm on a diet, and then it, it was a handful, and I went, I better put some of those back. Um, so yeah, if someone could let me know, are we also live on Jupiter Effects YouTube channel? Because I should have um, said something. Sarang says he doesn't. Yeah, YouTube think it's and live. Facebook. And the Facebook, because there was some cool thing that Chris and I managed to do where it combines the things. But what? neither of us are experienced in this, so. Mm, I pre-cutted the background to fit everything perfectly. That is true, Rich. Yeah, that's a bad, that's a that's a um, what's it a cinema sized bag of M and M's there. I thought a hen, like a chicken. Yeah, well, I don't measure chickens with my hands. <laughs> I'll have a hand of chicken, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Three cups of chicken, please. <laughs> Um, okay, we're not live on the Jupiter Effects uh, YouTube channel. I don't know why. Can I change that quick, or is it? For I got me, a missed call from important. Henning Pauly. What does Henning want? Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Thank hang you. on a minute. What's he? What's He's he like, to? do you remember to pack swimming stuff because sweet water? <laughs> sweet, sweet water is uh, some pools. I've already accidentally promoted Sweetwater at least three times in this video. Um, so we're not oh, no. live on, on Jupiter Effects Facebook or YouTube. Don't know why. Oh, hang on. Henning's no. calling me. Hang on a minute. What? I just called. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just, just hanging say, out. Hanging loose. Yes, Henning. Talking about m, &M. What, you, what are you doing? Okay, Sag what? Mal dem Christ, der soll. Hang on, I'm putting you I'm putting you on loudspeaker. Hold on. Don't swear. No. There he is. He's, can you very, hear him? This is, very, this is very difficult. I have to talk very slowly now because my brain doesn't work that way. I said, what are you doing and why are you putting so many fuzzers on that board? Well, there's only... How many fuzzers are on there, Chris? Two? Depends what you call a fuzz. Depends um, one, a fuzz. two... Well, two. Two. Two fuzzes, yeah, but because fuzz, as you know, Henning, is an umbrella term for many different flavors of a certain type wow. of clipping. Uh, we have a video mm. on that coming out, don't we? Yeah, we do. Mm. I'll let you get back to work because it sounds like you're busy. Yeah, I, I'm not just busy. I just, you know, I miss you, and I don't want to get that emotional on this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Andy. Bye, love you, bye. Miss you. Yeah, so wow, um, <laughs> that was Henning, everybody. The sort of stream inception. Uh, why not? I mean, Daddy. that's 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 why I give my phone number out to people. Daddy Henning. Just checking. He didn't say bring your swimming gear. I'm disappointed. Mm, he e emailed this like twenty times. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I think he has Mr. Goo Goo swimming shorts coming. I know. I already know. I got this I email so. too. Oh, I, did, I don't mm. get those emails, you see. I, I, I get him calling me in the middle of a live stream. Yeah, you are the YouTuber. I'm the business oh, yeah, owner. You, and that's yeah, why... you're paying to come. Yeah. 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 Paying to come to see Henning in bathing clothes. <laughs> Believe me, I've seen much worse. Much mm. worse. Yeah. Did you sleep? <laughs> at Hennings. <laughs> I didn't sleep at Hennings, no. Mm. I got a hotel. 
Um, no. Okay, so how's it going? Are we are we on the second row now? I guess. Yeah, um, and also one cable is missing. I just have to get it. Wunderbar, wunderbar. I'll, I'll, wunderbar. I'll just sing a start, song and start see if you dancing. Come back. Yeah. Uh, I'll sing a song. Uh, Chris is going to get a cable. Got to get a cable. Chris is going to get a cable. Here's my Glock and Spiel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Chris and I had a little um, a little break song like in Seinfeld. I'm going to play that while you're doing it. It'll be like a transition to to when um, yeah, I'm back. When you come back. Hey. This is the Andy and Chris show. Andy and Chris. Hi, it's Andy and Chris. Hi. Hi, I'm Andy. This is, this is my one. Oh, there's Love yours. Oh, that actually looks pretty funky. I dig that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Did you get your cable? The... Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. I have the cable. Actually, I have a question he for Valeria, as, as Valeria's yeah. here. You were in Sweden recently. Why didn't you get your hoodie? Because she, she's owed a hoodie by Ibanez. They can't, they're trying to send it all the way to Chile, but um, it's very expensive to send something to Chile. Why didn't you mm -hmm. get your hoodie from Dan whilst you were in Sweden? He could have sent it, you know, to Sweden. That would have been easy. Is that a question for me? No, it's a question for Valeria, who's in the chat. Ah. Sorry. No uh, I, 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 You know, too late now, but just interested, intrigued. Uh, <laughs> we're on the second row. So what is our first pedal? On the second row, we have the Frost Elect the Frost Giant Electronic. Don't ask what a giant is. Frost Architect, okay. Architects of Reality. And and this, Frost, Frost Giant doesn't have a, a website that says Frost Giant, which is confusing uh, for me. No, it's Frost Worship. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Here we go. Right. Show us the pedal, Chris, and then I'll take us to the website. Um, okay, very nicely shown. <laughs> what is it? This is a preamp pedal, and you may think, oh, aren't there enough preamp pedals of Marshall type and Fender and Box type uh, amps? Yes, but this does an uh, Laney AOR, which is an ACM. 800 but with more dirt and rawness uh -huh. and i don't quote me but i think he said to me that there is a mad m2 in there but i'm not 100 percent sure we can look it up now but i'm pretty sure about the ao air because it's uh, yeah justice is filling us in it's the laney aor uh amp Hang on a minute. We're going to go to the website and smoothly, smoothly. Um, hang on. Smoothly. <laughs> the mountain. The Frost Giant Electronics. Fuzzworship.com. Links are in the video description, or I'm sure someone will throw it in the chat if you're interested. Um, the what's this pedal called? Architect of reality. Ar architect of reality. Right. Pedal shop. Ooh, we've got t-shirts and cool stuff. I'm going to look at cool stuff in a moment. Is the architect of reality on the website? Because I was looking earlier and... I know that that is his newest pedal. And while you search, I have to um, tell you something about Eric. Eric. Please tell us. He's... Yeah, it's not on the website as far as I can see. He is um, from Texas, and okay. he also does little action figures. Figures? What's called in English? You know? The figures. Little... Yeah. Um, he's making like He-Man and Ghostbusters. No way! And he's, pr he's printing them with a 3D printer in like glow-in-the-dark materials. Oh, wow. I want... 
<laughs> I want them all. I want to, I want a glow in the dark toy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, sadly, the architect. Um, did I get the name right? Architect. Of the architect. Yeah. Of what? Of reality. Hang on, Eric is in the group chat. I got all sorts of things going on here. Hey, Eric. Um, the pedal launches on September the 18th. The only product announcement he has is this one, and it'll be the landing. Hang on, then. One second. Let me just come out of this so we don't accidentally give away some information we shouldn't. Um, we Google. should promote the small. Everybody Architect in the chat. Of reality. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, okay, I can, I can do that. Um, Everybody in the chat, share this video because he needs promotion too. Yeah. Every builder needs that. We, we need to have a this. scene. <laughs> we, because we need to build a scene in, in Europe um, bigger than what's in the US. Because that's, that's how we also, do it. Also, if you don't support each other or to support your business owning friends, the campers will come and take all of our jobs in two years. Including and mine. Then you including yours, because all they're going to do is share Kemper presets. But then I'll just turn into a Kemper preset channel. I'm fine. I'll be I'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, Don't worry this about is me. your Kemper preset channel. So Frost uh, Architects of Reality preamp pedal emulates one of the most beloved amps of doom and 80s metal scene, the Laney AOR 8 knob amp. A legendary amp that mm -hmm. has been used personally and professionally by FG Iona Eric Calvert. Calvert? Calvert? Ooh. Calvert. Calvert. Uh, handmade in Texas. Um, did you say it's got something else in it? So it's the AOR channel on the original amp. It gives you an option of blending its gain with the first preamp gain. Sitting in the Doom yeah. and Stoner Metal Territory. I cannot wait to try that. Sounds very good. And it has like two channels, so you got everything on game covered. So you get your amp clean-ish, yeah. have a medium gain and a high gain. And they are, and this is very important, they sound fitting together. It's not like, I need to have one pedal for this and a completely okay. different sounding pedal for that. And it's not fitting in the mix it's it's like cutting random sounds together and stop, that is not musical and this pedal is musical right got it even not even it's doom labeled it sounds very, i'm, I'm very, really looking very, forward very to that good. i'd like i'd like to hear hear you play through that see see what kind of tones you get um just say hello to Shane. shade hope hello shade hope um big shout out to frost giant electronics of course um should we move on, Chris, to the next pedal? Mm, Eric also is a very cool guy. He's very into the scene. He supports all other builders. He's absolutely kind. Sweetheart of a man. I know him for like three years. He's always helping me out with stuff. Yeah, thanks, Eric, man. Thanks for the time. I hope I can give you something back now. Ta-da! Everybody share this pedal. <laughs> oh. We'll make sure that all the YouTubers will get the board. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, the board will be given to each YouTuber at 42 Gear Street, and they'll be asked to make a, a video for it. And maybe, I don't know. What they do with it is up to them. Maybe they choose their favorite pedal. Maybe they turn them all on at the same time. I don't know. Nobody minds. What do we got coming up next? Um, wait, wait a sec. My OCD is tingling. I have to put it. <laughs> <laughs> My OCD is tingling. Okay. Um, right. Next, we have. The Grey Skull. Can you, another, can you open another. a YouTube? Can, can you open me a YouTube link? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, okay, go on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like. And uh, open the Grayscale demo I did for Ground of X. All right, hang on. I'll just... Um... 
Jupiter affects Grayskull. Oh man. Why why'd you do this to me? There it is. Hang on, I got it. I've already watched some of it. I'm thirty two seconds in and I decided to, to not watch any more, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people pay YouTubers because yeah. pedal builders should not make videos. But um Hang Ben on, and wait. I I'm on it, I'm on hmm? it. Hang on. Here we go. There's Chris it's doing fallen. a video thing. No, 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 no. The different one. I'm um, I'm sleeping on this picture. <laughs> yeah, you're just having a little There's break a from, from building pedals there. There's a different one where I wear Oh I got coat. it, I got it. Ground effects, grey skull, Olmacht. Yeah. I'll just wait for the advert to skip. We're not gonna make people watch adverts. Shut up. Oh cool. Oh cool. Skip, skip, skip. Skippity skip skip. Oh I made it I made it three minutes into that video. Wow. Cool. Mm -hmm. And it's the same oh. note. <laughs> right, here we go. Can you hear that, Chris? Yeah. Okay, switch to like three minutes or two minutes in the middle somewhere. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, good night. <laughs> I got two messages after that. One message was from my very close friend, Ben. Um, Thank you for making the video. It's awesome. Blah, blah. I sold so much pedal on the first day. Blah, blah, blah. And I got a lot of hate message because they are calling me a poser because I ordered a cloak on Amazon for like 10 euros and made the complete doom scene thing and i made a hate, bit fun of hate is gonna hate mate hate is gonna hate hate is gonna hate yeah but it's a life pedal and it's also a human artwork <laughs> <sighs> and he drills he, he um um make make uh the the knobs custom you know that's yeah. metal knobs oh wow are they are they yeah. with a with a what's it called a lathe? Does he? Uh, are they are they cast or is it one like a metal rod and then he cuts into the metal rod with the lathe? I don't think he does them by himself. I think he just order them custom. Okay, well they he, are. He, that's some hot stuff. Yeah, they do that. Yes, and it's a live pedal clone, and there are many live pedal clones, but this one has an. Um, uh, the octave down and it's digital not analog so you can play a full chord oh wow room like the electro harmonix park hawk thing you know yeah yeah and it has an on volume for the octave on the blend and also the red part has not a, a, a filter it has a two band eq and um a preamp the uh, post boost so you have the boost after the rat in here too it's basically yeah life pad is cool but i would make it different and he did i'm excited i'm even more excited yeah. now about 42 gear street yes three three all right okay okay i'm i'm so far this is an amazing board Absolutely. I wish um, there would be some modulation on here. Yeah, I, do you know, I was but... just about to say the same thing, Chris. We've got some drives, we've got some fuzzes, we've got a preamp, we've got a boost. We, it mm -hmm. almost feels as if we need some wobbliness or some, some kind of something to make the sound move. 
I wish there was something that would make the sound move. And Zander oh my goodness. sent this. What is that, Chris? That's the... Uh, I hope it said Xander Duplo. Mm -hmm. He's from mm -hmm. the UK. But in uh, German, we say Thunder, and that's a fish. Nice background story. But it's, I think it's Xander. I think so too. Or Zander. Zander. Hi, I'm Zander. Zander. Alexander is the builder of this pearl. And it, he also does his uh, yeah. knobs. They look amazing. Made. The artwork is super cool. Also, preset no, uh, LED knob things. This is basically the, the cooler brother of the Strymon timeline. You know? The, oh, yeah. He, he, He's driving a motorcycle and leather jacket stuff. This brother, he's like, don't coming to family uh, un uh, reunions because fuck that. I have. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Let's let's go to the website. There's the website there. I oh, it's the American Geek. I have that right. I have the version one, the the old big style version right there, and it's an amazing mark pattern. And when I get that animalizer back, I'm going to make a video with these two Mockstar pedals in there. Also, he changed his completely website lineup thingy and also does his demos by its own in a very high quality. My friends and visitors, uh, people who watch this video right now, make sure you have him in, his, in your contact because this man is a genius. A genius. A genius. Okay, so this is the Duplo, the lo fi delay machine. Yeah, it also can, comes with a full book as a manual. Nice. So it's, got, it's got presets. So, oh, wow. Hi, I'm Alex. I built this pedal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here on the live chat now <laughs> and answer all your questions. Hi, Alex. Um, how is life hey. in the UK at the moment? Great. <laughs> Watching the live chat right now. Oh. What a lovely day. Yeah, that's a, that's a killer yeah. pedal. And um, again, I think that I don't know everybody that build these pedals, but the people I do know, one thing I can say is that everybody is really, really nice. Also, I don't know if you can see this. It's a PT2399 uh, chip delay as yes. our Fernway, Fernway, Fernway. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it's a cool, cool delay from the sound on its own, but the chip itself is very limited. And this man comes right around the corner and says, the chip was very too limited, so I took all the MIDI programs and everything else and put it, uh, make it stereo and uh, a lot of presets there. And yeah, now we have this. Like to be to be honest and straight up, this is a very very good design pedal stereo. It had, it has presets. I don't use mini, MIDI, so I just use more presets than switching everything with a with MIDI controller. Oh, wait, wait, it it, hang a, on. A, so, hmm? so, uh, Alex is in the chat, Xander uh, Circuitry. It's an FV1. It just simulates the PT2399 on one of the modes. So he's basically even smarter than I yes, thought because absolutely. he just used the cool sound but get rid of all that bad stuff of the chip and use the better chip to emulate the the rawness of the cool chip with the way more digital sounding chip. A lot of uh, people don't like the other chip because it's too clean, but you can yeah. emulate dirty things with the too clean reverb. Oh. <laughs> A lot of talking. <laughs> yes, Smart it's man. Friday. It's Friday evening and uh, Chris and Andy are fried. Yeah, I get excited when I talk about delays. <laughs> I think it's time we had a little musical sting. The 
Chris yeah. and Andy Shaver. Okay, we yeah. are done with the pebble placement. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those cheap cell phone stands. Oh, wait a sec. Let me just do it right. Okay, that's what she you said. Her name's calling. It, right, right. Okay, we have here our finished part. And also, I put all the corners in the right measurements so nothing is standing out. And this is important. I wouldn't do that to my board, but this board will um, see a lot of people, a lot of YouTuber. And if I do the cabling, like, not good looking, they say, like, oh. And if they see a clean, cool board, they see, like, oh. Yeah. Oh. You know? Yeah. Uh, snobs. Gear snobs. No, not gear snobs. Um, things that look well made are more in your interest than things that are not well made. <laughs> and if it's just my cabling, I won't stand in the way for that. So I, agree. I do. So, are we doing the back of the board? Are you going to tidy that up? If you want to. Should I start uh, with that? I would go now with the power supply. Yeah, I would I would do that as well. Um, wait a, we're reaching, wait a sec, we're reaching just... almost an hour and a half into the stream. Okay, so I hurry up a bit. So yeah, now's now's the exciting part where Chris speeds up, protects the pedals by using some brown paper. Yep. Uh, where's because Barlow right mine. now? Where where is Barlow? Barlow is Barlow. Come here. He's sleeping oh. under my desk, under my uh, oh. under this desk, where my PC for all the Labeling and everything is there is a nice bed and this idea I stole from Henning. Um, there's a nice bed where he sleeps all day. Okay, we have a small problem uh -oh. because the bar uh, the the power supply is falling into the hole of the pedal train. But, but they sent me something. Oh, what did they send you? I wish there was a better solution for this problem. Is there? Yeah, there is. I guess. I should read the manual. He should read the manual. Uh, hang yeah. on a minute. I've got a question in the chat from Dave Lewis. Andy, please make it bigger, please, mate. Make what bigger? I'm confused. Dave. Expand, expand on your question, please, Dave Lewis. Also, a, a super chat will always get you what you need. Yeah. Do, do you know how to fit those? No. But I have four days left to fix that. Ah, okay, I, I just found the right holes. Yeah, you gotta you got to take the screws off the, <laughs> the board and then not put it in the right... right. That's oh. it, yeah. Oh, okay. But... What the heck? There is a manual for that. I'm just not too stupid. Can I tell you a secret, that. Chris? Yes, please. When I did my pedal train video, in which I also used the DC factory from Carl Martin, I spent yeah. a good six to seven minutes doing what you were just doing. <laughs> and you know the answer? What's the answer? Yeah, you know the answer? Oh, yeah, I know the no answer. Problem. The answer yeah, is walk me. away, stop being a, a stupid person. I can I can get mine to show you if you want. It's just outside. Hang on. I don't know what you're doing right now with me. I'm, I'm, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm now uh, in the power of this chat. And I want to show you the board again. Please make sure that all these companies are now in your. Uh, now you subscribe them and tell all your friends how cool they are and make friends with the builders because they're all awesome, my friends. Oh. 
He's back. Got my backpack. Mm -hmm. Got my backpack. But I can't hear you yet. I've got to plug back in. Hold on. Hello. Okay, I can hear you now. This okay, is my, cool. my backpack, which is awesome. I took it to Vienna with me yesterday. Now, there. Can you see mine? No. Wait a sec. Oh, I don't know. That backpack is ah, huge. Ah. So you got to take I'm the so screws glad. out of the of the DC factory yeah, yeah. and put them. I in. know, I know. Okay. Hey, but hey, this... Chris! Chris, look what I've got. Hang on. An Atari. Oh yeah, yeah. But I and won't drill down, a board right now. No, that's not a good thing. idea. So. I will make the power cabling. Important thing is that what? you don't put the power cables together with the audio cables. Very important. We've just been in invaded by um, 60 cycle hum. Oh no. First Henning and then, but to be honest, Ryan, did a lot for me and I'm very very looking forward to meet him in person to punch him in the face <laughs> um, the word underwhelming comes to mind yeah underwhelming yeah he's lovely he's cool I, I like that you don't like him can't stand him <laughs> Love, lovely family okay. I don't know what happened with him yeah. Okay. First, we do this. I'm almost done. But okay. bear with me. It will be look way cooler afterwards. Okay. Yeah. I think I never built a so clean looking paddleboard in my I, entire I'm impressed, life. Mate. Yeah, you should. I'm very, very impressed. It's. It's looking clean. I agree, Stuart Tate. Every board does need Van Towers. Yeah. Also, I see a lot of questions like, how many pedals are too many? Mm, you don't need more than three pedals of drive on your board. Mm, 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 mm. They're basically right, but they don't have to tell you that if you want to collect 10,000 pedals, just do that. If it makes you happy, go with it. And if you want to have two Terra pedal train boards, go with it. You have to carry it, not I. Okay, so everything 18 volts. Okay, now I'm with the power supply. Are there right, still okay. people watching this? <laughs> yeah, we are. We are. I haven't said anything for a while, which is great. I had a nice little break then. I was um, okay. I was chatting to Ryan on Facebook. Uh, yeah, yeah. He found me. I don't know how, but he found me. So. Okay. DC yeah. I power ready. now everything in nine volts. Okay. Good. And I make sure that I use the right cable length. Let's take a look at the DC factory, actually, because it's it's one of those um, un, 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 under, what's it called? unsung pedal boards. Let's have a look at it. I'll uh, I'll um I'll go to the website. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. The end. Chris and Andy show. Oh man, Shade! Thank you so much for the super chat. Also, to to Melly, is that um is that how you pronounce your name? I'm sorry, 
Uh, I'm not going to attempt and ruin your surname. I'm sorry. Uh, but Mel Melly and to Shade Hope, thank you so much for the super chats. Uh, right, here we go. DC Factory looks pretty sexy. I like that shade of grey. I like the colour grey, Chris. How, how are you finding that grey on the DC Factory? Very classic. Good looking grey. Uh, high power, high powered, and totally noise free. Okay. Chris doesn't like the bad that. noise. Yeah, the bad, the bad noise. noise. You have, you have to, you have to select between good noise and the bad noise. The bad yeah. noise you don't want. The good noise you want. It weighs about two thirds of a kilogram, or one and a half pounds. Yeah, it's not, it's not light. Definitely. No. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> With a bit um, of melon. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a power supply, Chris. What can we say? The only, the only yeah. time we'll figure out if it works is, um, is when we plug it in in a moment. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hang on. One second. Oh, wait, did you hear the song we did in the introduction? For people, huh? Before what? we went live, did you hear that song? Yeah. I really, I'm going to play it again. I really like it. No. This is too. I'm trying to concentrate, and you're stressing me with weird music and horns. <laughs> so. Can you play some? Can you play some dramatic music? Dramatic music. Like Hang on, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Dramatic. Like Mission music. Impossible thing. Yes. Okay. Cool. There's a song called. I Omnish. even put. Yeah, I even put the zip ties in the same direction. Wow. Well, are you ready for? Uh, it's a song called On a Mission. I've never heard it before. We're uh -oh. gonna hear what it sounds like. Here we go. <laughs> He's a puzzle builder. And will he provide this bot in one hour? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need more zip tires. Will the bot ever be finished? We don't know. <laughs> is Paolo a, is Paolo a Russian spy, uh, spion? <laughs> We've got a different one. Yeah. Here we go. This is more suspenseful, apparently. Oh, that's quite relaxing. In season two of Pedal Builders Builder <laughs> Board, will Chris finish the zip ties? Where's the zip tie? <laughs> This feels like a, a video game where we're just kind of about to get in some serious trouble. Some serious zip ties. Okay. Hang on, I've Not got one my... called Rescue Mission. Hold on. We're, we're, we're going to play a song called Rescue Mission. Oh, it's, it's quite nice. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Please. I feel like Dr. House, like, oh God, I'm the Gordon Ramsay of pedal boards now. <laughs> Chris, you've built pedal boards in your past, you'll build pedal boards in your future. Right now, you're building the most important pedal board of your life. Where are the zip tires? <laughs> you're done. <laughs> okay, I'm finished. Hang on. Round of applause, everybody in the chat. You can just press the letter C and then press Enter for a clap. That will help you out. Um, Yay! Thank you. Wow. Okay. Very important is that clean, um, clean, cleaning cable stuff is not important at all. But it doesn't have to be look good. Not that doesn't look good, but. It, okay. It, it isn't. It isn't for no one is interesting in your underneath pedalboard cabling. 
no one. I absolutely agree. <laughs> Apart from yeah. some of the people in the chat. Of Probably. course. We have all different opinions on things, and that's cool. But um, it's not important. Nobody will die from it if you have bad power cabling. But you get hum. And so you have to separate audio from uh, voltage. That's very important. If you put them in zip tires or not, if you put them on cable hooks or not, doesn't matter. As long as you do it separate. Voltage, audio, no, no. OK. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's a very get... tidy functional board. Also, you've left a little bit of space in case people do want to move pedals around a, a touch, you know, because that might happen. Yeah. If you put them in there too tight, people might remove a pedal from the board for, to go make a video with it. Um, so, so yeah. Also, super secret tip, put some place here and you can get like a small bag, like, like, oh, there's a small can where you can put stuff in it, like okay. your Plex or something else, or like a drive pedal that you have always on. Or something Condoms. you don't want people to see. Yeah. Or a beer opener. Or a spare five euro note, just in case. <laughs> spare underwear. Spare underwear. <laughs> oh, please, uh, please uh, put uh, some, please put uh, some underwear on there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Glenn Fricker, this is the YouTuber Pedal Superboard. What's this? My underwear. <laughs> ah, cool. Yeah. Oh, we are we are done, my friend. So, Thanking for inviting me to do this. You're welcome. This. You're welcome. I have to put, I have to put, like twenty zip tires now, to make it look very clean and cool and pro and everything. Chris, but we have a question I do from that Henning. Afterwards. Henning's asking huh? a question. Henning is asking a question. Hmm? Is there a space for the ACS S1 slash Cab M? What? What's that? What's that? The, hang on, I've got one somewhere. No, don't ah, the yeah, room. yeah, the Cab M plus the, the little, oh, ooh. maybe, I think, I would say yes. And it's also 12 volts. And the Carl Martin power supply has two. I wish there was a power supply company that also has two volts. Ta da! And it's also 500 million pairs. Um, do you have the cap M there? I do, but also, I could, you want to know how many milliamps it does? Yeah, I guess it's 12 volts and 500 milliamps. But I did run mine on 9 volts. Uh, really? Yeah. Because uh, I it does work. I, I was using mine on um, on twelve, and I was using it on a power supply, so it couldn't have been more than five hundred milliamps. Uh, I mean, is it faster for me to look on the Two Notes website, or is it faster for me to get out of my chair and get it? I don't know, but I'm, I don't really fancy getting out of my chair. Uh, normally, I would solder them out to Lange, but nobody cares, I guess. Not right now. Okay, not right now. No, no, no. Later. I'm the whole evening in the shop doing orders. Hmm. So, but first the jazz concert. Here we go. And then um, back to shop. 100, uh, 120 AC, 12 volts DC, 1 amp. Oh, that's the that's the sorry, that's the supplied adapter. I'm reading this currently wrong. Consumption is 200 milliamps, so we are good. Yeah, it definitely fits underneath the board, and with a bit of tricking, you can get the XL Air out to the side. Yes. Or to the button. But I and think also, if we're using a Cab M, um, the Cab M will be locked. So people don't need to actually mess with the cabm to to change any settings. So it can also, go underneath 
and it can go oh. mm -hmm. yeah no extra wiring everything is there okay should i plug it in oh would would we like to see chris plug it in yeah okay bear with me i have to make some space here's also the test station on my desk of course Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, I'm very looking forward to meet you again, Andy. I was just thinking exactly the same thing. I can't wait to hang out and um, achieve something, but also achieve nothing, you know, for, for at least a few hours. I asked Andy if he plays on my wedding, but only if he dressed like um, the guy from The Cure. And he wants to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Yeah. Robert, Robert Smith. Smith, but I have to do, I'd like to do 80s Robert Smith rather than 2021 Robert Smith, if that's okay. Yeah, the 81, the cool one. I hope you like The Cure. I do. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a massive okay. fan. But um, I do appreciate The Cure and what they did for the music scene. I just don't have time to be a massive fan of anything at the right now, apart from family, guitars, and sleeping. He-Man as well, maybe. Yeah. Amanda, I also love okay. cats. I love cats. So, Chris, the audio we're going to get, that's going to be from Chris's headphones. So the vocal mic, we've got nothing set up. So bear in mind that everything you're going to hear is through Chris's Bluetooth headphone mic. Yeah. And he never saw me without that headphones. <laughs> Every time um, I call Chris, he's, hang on, I've got to go and get my headphones. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not even sure if Chris Jupiter has ears. I've, uh, um yeah i have but they're noise cancelling and if we have four people and the barclay team in the back with three people hammering on alu guitars um it's very loud in here so i basically wear them all day we have noise cancelling so in that case this what, is the sound this wait, is the wait, wait, sound which headphones are you wearing which headphones are you wearing i need to know um they're very good it's like talking to me i just have them on and i don't hear you at all i just see you're talking without Love any it. sound it's just cancelling it's like i want to know what your headphones gone. are i want to buy some um sony uh, 1000 bx oh my they weren't cheap but the sound quality is very 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 good oh, if i Frankie, listen Jay to music all Jamie day Jamie Humphries is calling me now what do you want i'm live i'm on a live stream oh i'm sorry i'll, I'll talk to you later hmm. give me a shout I'm only joking, mate. I am on a live stream, but I was just being annoyingly uh, uh, aggressive. <laughs> How can you be on a live stream and be talking to me then? Because there he is. There's Jamie Humphreys. There, everybody. Jamie. <laughs> is his grandma glasses? Yeah, his Andy tribute glasses. Go and, all right, go and get your mop. All right, mate. Uh, we'll be finished soon. Bye. All together? Um, all together, please, Chris. I'll show you how good this noise gate is. Okay. Uh, okay. Five pedals is just too, too much. Or I... How you, how do you use a noise gate? Uh, I'm not I'm, I'm not surprised that Chris Jupiter doesn't know how to use a noise gate. <laughs> I think it's just way too much volume. Cool. <laughs> ah, uh, Valeria, I'll send your love to Jamie, of course. Okay, without. No. 
Oh, you're too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, all together. And what you like is when you engage the sender and switch through the presets. And repeat. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Andy. Hi. Oh. Yeah, silence. Yeah, I'm done. Um, I think the gate is set up in two two cables, right? Not four cable currently. Uh, two cables, yeah. Yeah. I also have to check why the signal isn't running. But it's my guitar, I guess. But I don't know why. Ah, because I didn't plug in. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> why is it not working? That explains everything. Not everything, but a lot. Okay, particular order. Big Muff, the animalizer. Do we have some time to play all the pedals? Absolutely. Do you, do you mind? Absolutely. Okay, this is my Barclay guitar, Moss Ride. I love this guitar. It's my only guitar that is really that good. And uh, yeah, Hang on, yeah. we can't, we can't see it. There we go. Show us again. Yeah, cool guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the animalizer. I think I don't go into the pedals that much because you can't hear anything right now because definitely not. Just, yeah, it's just. But I click um, through just quick. And play that. Nice gate. Nice gate. Okay, cool. And the Antares. To be honest, I don't know how to do anything with that type of game pedals. But that's just me, to be honest. Clean at zero. Is there any way to Is there a way to turn off the noise cancelling on your headphones? Uh, no. It's 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 that horrible? It sounds um terrible, yeah. <laughs> okay, then um we skip that, I would say. Yeah. But just to prove the board works okay. and if you want to hear it, you yeah, have to yeah, tune yeah. into the stuff at forty two Gear Street, part three. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Andy, and thank you for all the people who are watching. Um, thank you for sending those awesome pedals. Thank you, Pedal Train. Thank you, Barlow. Yeah. Thank you, Barlow. Thank you. Um, he's no? behind you. Karma, Barlow's audio. behind you. Other side. Yeah. He's he's waiting for us to get home. Oh, he's blessed. waiting on the door. Please, oh. Papa, let's go home. And power off. Okay, so it works. Okay. Um, would you? Are you gonna? Are you gonna drill the the power supply in? Yes, but okay, not cool now. Beans. Not now. No. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing the board. I think it's a a fairly um, what's the word? A fairly usable board live you know it's, it's not as if it's full of fuzzes or full of drives and thankfully we got the, the zander uh modulation on the two pro um yeah i think that's a very usable which is, board which is like a complete dryman 
uh, stage in one pedal. If you like that kind of pedal, get it. If you want to get rid of your Strymons because everybody's laughing at you for all your three big Strymon pedals and you don't want to post pictures of your board anymore on Instagram, get a Zander instead and be cool again. Yeah, just be cool, everybody. Get a, a European, almost European Union made pedal or Europe based yeah. pedal. Yes. Well, Jupes, okay. I've had a wonderful time sitting here, but now my bottom has gone to sleep. I can't feel my bottom anymore. So it's probably time okay. I get up and I move around a little bit and I've got to go and pick up the kids. Drop them off at the yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, all right. So when do we see each other? Are you arriving to Gear Street on the 19th? Thursday, Donnerstag? Yes. Yeah. We check in the hotel and then we grab beer. And we are staying in the same hotel, my friend. And uh, I'm Fine. bringing my friend Benji with me, and he's a masseuse. So there's going to be um, actual massage happening, professional massage with metal music called <laughs> Metal Massage at Gear Street 3. Is he, head, is he head banging while he does massages? Dude, he's a, he, Benji is awesome. So if you request that, he'll do it. Geil. Voll geil. Voll geil. Okay. Okay. Um, nice thanks, evening, mate. My I can't wait to see you and uh, and give you a big clean hug. And uh, is hugging is hugging cool again? I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll hug you from behind. It'll be fine. Okay. okay. You can hug me. Let's uh, let's just play the theme tune. Oh, I've moved everything around now. Hang on. The Chris and Andy show. All right, go and check out some Jupiter Effect stuff because Chris makes awesome pedals. The Catastrophe is coming soon. It's going to be at Gear Street, and I'm going to play it. Then, of course, uh, do a thumbs up on this video. Because if you don't, then you'll have a worse time for seven years. Also, also bring three amps with me. I was going to talk about them, but I thought we'd leave it as a surprise. No. And hello to Dale only at the on, end. <laughs> only on your channel, Chris Jupiter's revealing secrets. Yes. Have you, okay. Have you, you're bringing bye three amps. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope we entertained you for at least half of this show. I had a wonderful time, and um, we'll get more from the Chris and Andy show very, very soon. Chris Bye, Chris. Bye, Jubes. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Ciao.